it going people? Welcome back to channel, my name is Luke, this is LWE TV and today we've got some new wheels. I tell you what, does anyone else get that little mood, that little swing on the go, you know, that little, little new wheel day dance, a little jiggle, you know what I mean? Probably not. Raise the fuck up. Okay, so, the Megan's just there, we've got the new wheels inside, I don't know what to do first. We've got, we've got to wash Megan anyway because it is minging, the rear lights have <laughs> Missed it back up again, so this is just absolute okay. To be fair, two seconds, I'll show you. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, that didn't really go to plan from uh, last video. Now, I have sold these Evo course wheels as uh, a chap I'm delivering to on this weekend because I'm going up to Dollington this weekend to film a uh, promo video for a chap called James Alford who's racing in a 750 Motor Club series, which is gonna be cool. Um, but anyway, back to the video. I always get caught off guard, I just go and talk about other things. Who does not love a new wheel day? If you're enjoying this series so far, give this video a thumbs up as well. So we've got 18 by 8 Evo course wheels at the minute. The new ones are 17 by 9s. Now it's going to look a lot different. They look really good on this. It, it tucks to the Brembo caliper perfectly. There's no rubbing, it just literally just misses them, which is really nice. It's going to look awesome. I can't wait. Um, but yeah, as you can see, the Megane is proper filthy. Oh, and as well, I didn't show you, but we took it that down to Kitchens, well, MK Body Shop again. We've had the uh, the arch gap properly sorted, so we're sweet both sides. What do you reckon? Look at that. And you might notice the plates are missing as well because we've got some new plates to go on. To be fair, I'll go show you the new plates quickly because exclusive registrations, you just gotta appreciate this. Two seconds. Yeah, so honest, look at these, the, the, the worksmanship and how incredible these plates look. And how in depth the guys from Exclusive Registration are, they just go so in depth for everything and they're incredible. They've also got a discount code which I put on the screen at the bottom with their Instagram name. It's fitted for 20% off these plates, honest. If you're not getting these, I don't know what you're doing. Although there is a big conspiracy at the minute. Luke, what about September when all the rules and regulations change? I believe he sent me some information the other day. Um, go give him a message. I think these are still legal because they're not actually like properly stuck on or they're, I don't know how it's how the adhesive is or how it, the background of it, but go give him a message. It will definitely let you know. But those plates, absolutely incredible as always. Exclusive registrations. Honestly, check them out guys. So yes, now the Megan needs a wash. The plates are off. We'll get them on in just a moment. I just need to clean everything up. Uh, I need to give the car a wash because it's been bombarded with mud on the front. And um, I want the car to be clean for when we put the wheels on. Now, one thing I will say, I don't know if I already mentioned, is with the springs, um, it's not as low as it will be when the coil levers go on. So if it looks a bit silly this time, that'd be why, um, because it's got 17s on as well. So it needs to be a lot lower. But you're probably wondering, Luke, where the wheels, let me see the wheels on and us going on. Show the wheels right now. Yes, I will show you the wheels. Let me just wash this McGann up. And then, oh, screw it. Here you go. Here's the wheels. Enjoy. <sighs> well, there we go. We have got a set of four 17 by 9 Team Tonight Pro Race 1.2s in silver. Now, I know what you're thinking, silver against a white car, it might not work. I kind of just placed one up against the car. Silver looked cool, you know, and I, I'm being deadly serious. Silver does look cool. Now, these tyres are mega wide. They're extreme performance. Uh, they're extreme performance. Is it VR2s? I think the VR2s. These are a competition compound tyre. As you can see, they get sticky, um, they get real, real sticky. Um, it gets, yeah, these are gonna be very interesting on the car, is what they're like. They're wider, 245, 4017s. I am going wider for the front. Um, when I burn these up, I will be getting 255, 4017s, and then 235, 45, 17s on the rear. So, yeah, there we go, the new TDs. I was gonna get ATS GTRs, but I just cannot find them anywhere. I paid 850 quid for these, um, and there's a colour I really want to go for after when I get a new wheel, or when I get the when I get these tyres burnt for it, when I get a new colour put on. But we'll see what silver looks like. I've got a good feeling it's gonna look better than I thought. I've got a very good feeling about it. Anyway, 
let's get him on, let's talk in more action as DMO says, you know, so let's get him on the car. Okay, now before we do get cooking on the wheels, uh, this actually thankfully already has a stud conversion kit. Now, stud conversions are better in many ways. It's a lot easier to get wheels on and off with a stud conversion and it's a lot safer as well uh, when you're on track compared to uh, normal normal bolts, for instance, because they can just literally come loose out the thread, whereas these have the thread already built in with an actual nut. So, a lot safer, a lot more practical, and uh, better to have. So, I definitely prefer having a wheel well, stuck, stuck conversion kit done. Would I recommend it? Yeah, go get it done. If it's if you if you make a track car, probably one of the first things I'd get done, really, to be honest. It's simple, it's easy. Uh, another thing as well, it's got braided brake lines, which is really good on this. But, you know, it's, it's gonna be sad to see these wheels go because they're cool. And I know this video is only changing wheels, but wheels do really dramatically change the look of a car. And you don't always get people, because I never really, the only person I really know that's done 17 by nines on them again on YouTube fully is Malcolm with his ATS GTRs, which is, he's a very lucky guy because I couldn't find them. Um, but that's it really. Like it's information that needs to get out there. You're trying out different things. Now one thing people have been saying, I don't know if it's true, that you might have to grind down your caliper, uh, Caliper bolts, whether or not it's true, we'll have, to, we'll have to find out and see, but I doubt it, in all honesty. The guy who had these on before, uh, these Team Dynamics wheels, he said he had no issues, so. Hey, anyway, let's get the jacks, get all these wheels cracked, get them on. I'm actually really gasped at this, this is gonna look cool. Okay, so now the wheel is off. Um, it's always good to do like a little inspection of everything. This has not long been inspected by Aaron anyway, but it's always good to check over your ball joints, uh, check if there's any play in your hub, your pads, if you play even your pads, see if your pistons are moving correctly, um, check all your boots, your CV boots, see that's a brand new one there, which is still lovely and intact. I'm not leaking at all. There is still some leftover residue, but if I put my hand around the whole CV boot, there's nothing there at all, which is good. Um, pads are getting low. Now we'll be changing the discs and the pads soon. We're getting like J hook or C hooks, I can't remember what they're called. And then we're getting PBS Pro Race pads all round. Uh, as you see, the brave lines are already here. It's got different springs. I think these are the Gram springs with the cup shocks. And uh, as you can see, we've already taken out the arch liner. I hate having an arch liner, I don't know why. Those people like having it. Obviously it stops things like stones and that flying up, going into your belts, into your, uh, wash the fluid tank and things like that. But always have a good check, you know, check drop links and everything as well. It's superficial stuff that you can check. Um, always get a pry bar in for your uh, wishbone uh, bushes down there as well. Just check everything out, it's always, always a good thing to check out. Anyway, let's get the first wheel on and see how good it looks. You know what? <laughs> that is looking cool. I need to step back for that. Yeah, you know what? Silver's gonna work. I think silver is really gonna. This is look, this looks mega. Where's that socket gone? See, that's cool. Lovely. Definitely gonna need some camber, but it's not an issue because we'll get that done. Luckily, it's not really low at the moment. But. I, I like this. I don't know why, wheels just change the car so much, but wow, it's gonna be. It's literally like, this is better than Christmas when you get new wheels. I don't know if it's the same for car enthusiasts around the world, but getting new wheels, there's something about it a day and out. Anyway, let me get the front and the rear one on, drop it down, see how this side looks. I reckon it's gonna look sweet. I'm cutting dice, I'll cut these eyes. Say hello 
Right, so we got them on. Now, like I said, they do look a bit, a little bit silly considering the car's not lowered yet, but here's how it looks from this side anyway. Look at that. That's actually, you know what, that's pretty deep. They're chunky though, they're proper chunky. I, I don't know if I can give you a good angle here of how chunky they actually are. Like, yeah, she's fair chunky. I'm gonna have to get the camera on that. Thing is though, look, if I get two five fives on that, that is gonna be sticking out big time. I suppose when you got the cam, yeah, when you, when the camera's done and everything, it'll look pretty mad, but hell. That is uh, definitely wide. It needs to be lower. It really, really needs to be lower. But 17s on these look, do look really, really good. I don't know. Silver's cool, but Chris just came in and said to me, Luke, you need to change your colour. So maybe, yeah, satin black. Because there's a lot of black accents on the car. So, yeah, like, you know, the front grill bit down here. I've uh, got the mirrors. I've uh, got black team window deflectors. You know, the interior is like black, like black windows. So, like, it needs to, the wheels, I think, need to be black. Um, but there's a, there's a certain black i wanted to go for which is a bit different so yeah we'll uh, we'll get to that closer to the time anyway guys i'm not going to bore you with doing the other side i'm just going to whack them on we'll do a little cheeky cinematic because i just love them. i just love them i do i tell you every time i want to see i just it's just a good you know it's just really good to look at when you're when you've done something and it's just there like yeah sexy so we'll go ahead uh get these on and give you like an overall recap of what I think they look like, but so overall, I think they look mega. They proper like, especially look, look down here on that brake caliper, they sit lovely, like really nice. So I'm happy with that. Sweet. Okay, so we're all done with the wheels. They're on. Uh, I'll get into like a little clip in a minute. I just want to say a few things because I never really talk about personal stuff. And I never really sit here and like thank you guys enough as well. So I think it's appreciated that you guys get, you know, yourself a little bit of feedback from myself. All I get is feedback from you. So it'd be nice for me to, you know, open up a little bit as well. So. So I don't, know, I don't know what I heard then. I heard something straight. Yeah, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone really. Uh, SGS tools as well. Uh, with their tools down there with the jack. Um, the, the tools are incredible, like that jack down there has done me loads, they've got actual stands and that as well, so shout out to them who've worked with me in the past. Um, and every other company that's been involved, like Excuse Frustration, we've got Yum Cars Detailing, there is literally so many, Control Customs, Bevo, uh, Rap Capital, there's just so many people out there I want to thank constantly. Um, YouTube's not really something I look at as a only income. Uh, it's not, it's not my only income. I've got a full-time job as well. And people do need to understand that, like, I can't bash out content constantly. And I'm not doing the big craze of rebuilding cars and that. Like, I just don't have the time. I've got to see my family. I've got to go to work. I've got my girlfriend, Shan, to go home to and spend time with. And I feel like I'm going to end up losing out on valuable time. Um, just constantly worrying about YouTube. So, I always say to myself, and I say to you guys as well, don't rely on social media as your one source of income. Uh... I mean, unless you've made a career out of it, look at it as like a hopping, like a like a hopping, is it a hopping stone or a stepping stone? Stepping stone. Look at it as a stepping stone. Uh, look at it as a way of boosting something you're doing. Like with global where I work, you know, social media is great for help boosting the company. Uh, I would never rely on it personally on YouTube. Just quit everything for YouTube because it's so. Uh, what's the word? It's so un. Not uneducated. It's so un. I don't even know. It's just not. The consistency of making the money is not always going to be there. Like, you can't get to like, you might get five years down the line off, a couple of years down the line, and it'll just die off, and you've really, not really got anything to fall back on, apart from a CV of your YouTube foundation, but yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I'm, I'm blabbering on too much. Uh, I just want to say a few things like that, really, and just want to say thank you to you guys. You've been amazing, and uh, I will continue to making videos. It's just, um, I enjoy it. Like, I'm not making money out of it, a huge amount of money out of it. I'm having a great time. All the money I put into the cars is my own money that I make, so um, I'm not really making anything out of this. I'm just doing it because I really enjoy it, and it's nice to come here and chat to you guys. Maybe show you guys a few things that you haven't seen, and um, I'm learning every day as well. But also, if you haven't checked it out, Renault Sport hoodies. Do you like these? These are cool, aren't they? I like these. Um, I'm thinking of bringing some merch out myself. Drop some comments down below. I put a post, post up the other day uh, for something. It said Albert TV, and then if you, it was like upside down on the back. If you can read this, and I've run out of talent. Because obviously, if you crash and you're upside down, then they can read it. And I thought it was pretty like funny. But um, yeah, that's it, guys. Anyway, so let's roll into the clips. We've got the plates on, we've got the wheels on. You know what to do. Sit back, enjoy. This is it. <laughs> 
See, I got a gift and a curse. I let shorty give what she worth. I know one day I gotta leave Earth, so I gotta give him this word. I was already set when they got started, they ain't wanna see me at first. And I already stuffed about 10 in the 40, so don't make me quench my thirst. If I spin through your block, then I'm purging. Fuck a Gucci, I'm back in my Birkin. Hit a switch on a stick and convert. So, people, there we go. We are done, LBTV gang. Christ, it's been a while since I've said that. I remember, do you remember the LBTV GXMG gang stickers? That was cool. Uh, <laughs> weird. I don't know why I thought of that just now on the spot. What do you reckon? Do you like them? Should we go a different colour? What should we do? Your opinion counts a lot of the time. It always does. I do listen to you guys in the comments and I do reply as much as I possibly can. Uh, but what do you reckon? Do you like it? Do you don't? Let me know what you think. 17 by 9s, definitely wide. It's gonna be amazing grip on track, especially that factory LSD. Talking of that, we've got a brand new recon gearbox on the way, um, coming from a company. So we'll get a video done on that with Aaron. Also, what videos do you wanna see next? We've got coilovers on the way, we've got a brand new Sabelt steering wheel to fit as well, from Volatech with the buttons, which is cool. And uh, any other bits and bobs you wanna see, just comment down below, we'll get it all done. Obviously, Cage and everything needs to come as well. Do we strip any more of it out? Do we keep it club sport style? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. But anyway, guys, Thanks for watching today's video. If you've enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel if you're new and smash a like on today's video, please, as well. And turn on the bell notification to be notified every single time I upload. And I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.